life gets you down, keeps you wearing a frown, and the gravy train has left you Morning, behind. everybody. This is uh, Red Snow here again and today. Today, I'm going to teach you how to put your batteries on your Comcast your remote. Alright, first of all, you you're going to need some Duble A batteries, otherwise known as Double A batteries. And you're going to have to move the remote to the back, like this. You're going to see a little, little uh, contraption right there. You're going to need to put your finger on that, and you're going to need to just pull it up slightly so you don't break it. And you're going to see there are two empty slots. They're slots for batteries. You're going to see a plus and a minus two. Plus for this side, minus right there. Take the first DBA battery. You're going to put it, put the plus side on the plus. And the minus side on the minus. Same thing with the other battery. Plus side on the plus. Minus side on the minus. I mean, it makes sense really if you if you really you know think about it. And then to work it to make sure it works for real, I put that little capper right back in there, real good. And then shut it. And there you go. You got a nice working room Comcast remote. She can watch all your favorite shows any time of the day. Now, these batteries are due to, you know, last quite a while, but, you know, I'd have some spares laying around just in case. And, uh, yeah, that is how you put batteries in your Comcast rubber.